Hi guys and welcome to a new video on the channel. I'm back again and I've gone with some kind of a new video. I've gone with tips for you to get 20 in home weekend league. But this time uh, I've got a few gameplay examples in it, but I've also decided to go for more mental and tactical uh, kind of approach because I think that's what uh, most people are maybe lacking that don't get 20 in home. It's not necessarily the gameplay, but it's maybe the smartness and uh, mental stuff decided that you need to get on point as well so let's start off the first point is a mistake a lot of people do is they don't spread their games out they play all 20 games at once and this can be very tiring you might see your favorite streamer do it a stokes or someone a levy a me play 20 games in a row but of course we are uh, pro players and for us maybe it's not that demanding mentally which you play them easy if you are maybe a player struggling to get 90 20 wins it might be better for you to maybe play five at a time it's something a strategy that for me when i was a player that wasn't really at the top 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 level yet i had to play games in like sessions of 10 sessions of five for me to keep the maximum focus whenever i was playing and uh, play my best because you always notice when you're not having the best focus you possibly can uh, you're gonna drop games you're gonna drop goals and eventually it will cost you your 20 you know, uh, info champs and that would be so unnecessary if it just was as easy as maybe playing five per session, 10 per day, whatever works for you. Then let's start off with the team. A lot of people go into weekend league without actually having the right team. So what's important for me always, at least 30 chemistry. Below that, don't go with it. 30 chemistry is important because you always notice your team is yeah, how I should describe it? Feeling a bit loose when it's on the 30, at least that's for me. Um, when you look at your team, you want to add multiple um, weapons. So, for example, Pink Pass Plus, a Long Ball Plus. We got one with KDB, Pink Pass with Enzo, with KDB as well, Bardio even. And maybe a Whip Pass in Zalewski, Ariel Plus, Surloff, uh, Rudiger. So you want to have a bit of everything. Go with like a power shot, you got Forlan, uh, Mustiala with the technical. So try to have a bit of diversity in your team in terms of playstyle pluses. This will also help you be more unpredictable for your opponent. And also get yourselves good subs because they can be important in the end of games. Tip number three, always get yourself an attacking all out attacking formation when you're losing by one or two goals at the end of the game. I always go for 4-2-4, maybe a three at the back, uh, constant pressure on, 100 depth on, place in the box on 10, direct passing, fast build up, whatever you want, go for it. You gotta risk it, otherwise you're gonna lose for sure. Put the most attacking uh, instructions and custom tactics on, because you need to go for that win in order to keep a 20-0 dream alive. It's important to have one set up because, let's say you press pause in a 75 minute, yeah, there's a chance the ball doesn't go out of play until minute 85 and then you still only got five minutes to apply pressure. So set one up so that you can switch to it whenever you want. Tip number four, really important, it's learn corners. If you watch the FC Pro World Championship, if you watch FC Pro Competitive over the last few months, you'd know how many goals are getting scored of corners. For pro players, it's almost half a penalty. Trust me, it's, it's ridiculous. What most people have in their team is one player that's crazy tall with Aerial Plus. Think about the Surloff, think about Haaland, think about Veghorst, SBC. Think about these cards because they are really a cheat code at corners. Try to always have maybe a player with Deadball Plus or Deadball Grey in your team also to give yourself the best chance at crossing those corners in a good way. So let's take a look at the corners. KDB now, first post, don't even have to select someone Surloth goal. Really easy if you look at it. Second one, again, KDB crosses it first time. Uh, Surloth still wins the header. We get another corner. We cross in the exact same way as the first goal. Again, goal. Then we move over. Again, KDB crosses it. Surloth goal. It's so easy and such a cheat code, especially when your opponent doesn't move his goalkeeper. And then last but not least, time your shots green. Green timing your shots will help you massively in scoring your goal scoring opportunities. So let's take a look. Surloff from a good distance, green time. I guarantee you, if I don't green time that shot with Surloff, it doesn't go in. It makes you uh, score goals from impossible angles. Again, let's see this power shot from KDB. If it isn't green, it doesn't fly in. Trust me. You can see how much green timing uh, helps you score from angles that you weren't, that you didn't think were possible. 
Now, again, R9, moving, finesse, distance, goal. Again, not green, not a goal, trust me. If you're struggling with scoring goals, check out our 3421 uh, formation uh, video we've uploaded before. Check it out on the channel because that will also help you score goals. You can even uh, green time your headers, also important. I think in this case, the clip is maybe bad, but uh, green time your headers will also improve the accuracy and the power of the, the ball. So definitely train on that. So guys, this was the video. Five pro tips to help you get 20 in weekend league. Of course, I cannot guarantee you going from an 11 win player to a 20 and 0 player, but it'll for sure help you improve uh, one, two, three, maybe four wins. And um, yeah, let us know in the comments if it helps you. Please drop a like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe on the channel and I'll see you for the next time.